A pleasant day to you, friend. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another crispy chicken adventure. Tonight we're going to do a speed run through all the bingo boffin quests, just because. I'm going to see how fast I can blow through them, so I'm not going to take my time and read all the things. I'm just going to um, race through them. If you want to see what the quest text says, you are welcome to... Um, hit the pause button or better still do the quests yourself because uh, they're kind of cool and you can get some cool rewards by doing this series of quests it is a fairly long series but most of the uh, things we'll be doing are pretty quick they, a lot of them don't take very long to do so let's see how fast we can blow through them all so Bingo Boffin is a hobbit who lives in Mickle Delving. And we're going to uh, go back and forth a few times. From his house to other places. Did any of the food capture your fancy? Now we're going to the library. There's a reason we're going to the library. <laughs> we have to go find something there. Let's see how fast we can get there. Um, wait a second. If I go to the stable master and I hitch a ride over to Hobbiton, that might get me there faster than if I just ride cross country. So I need to try and do this as fast as I can. So let's do that. If I go swift travel to Hobbiton, how do you do? Uh, that should probably do the trick. And dismount as soon as I get to the other end of this little adventure. When I'm going down the hill into Hobbiton, I will dismount and then saddle up and head to the library in the Great Smiles. So we're going to spend more time paying attention to what are the quest instructions that are showing up on my tracker rather than pausing to read all the text. I just want to see how fast I can get through them all. And I might not get through them all today. Maybe I will only get through some of them. We'll see how many I can get through in an hour or two. I don't know if I'll have enough time to get through all of them this evening. Because it is kind of late when I'm starting here. So, let's uh, see how it goes. Let's uh, go in the library. A mirror. Yes? Can I help you find something Check in particular? Cookbooks. Have I got one? Have I got one? Bring the fine cookbook to bingo outside his hobbit hole. You know what? Do I want to? <laughs> oh, it's cheating. I'm not going to cheat by using all my mithril just to speed this up. Now, if you are wondering how long it will take you to do these quests, well, you might want to actually read the quest text and take your sweet time doing it. And uh, you might not have, um, wait a second, wait a second, I have a shortcut I could take. I can guide myself to Mickle Delving. So yeah, uh, you might not have journeyman riding, so it might take you a little bit longer than me to gallop from one place to another. That's okay. What I want to do is do all the things that I have to do for these quests. And then I'm going to want to timestamp a video so that if people are having issues with one of the bingo quests, they can look at the video description, find the part that they want to know about. Oh, people. This and, looks uh, like just the thing. Go. Wait, Bring the map what's to the this? guy. Bring the map to the guy. So yeah, I'm going to go up to talk to the guy. There's a lot of that in this game. It's always talk to the guy or talk to the chick. One or the other. Off we go to see the guy. So we'll see. Can we at least get out of the Shire? How long will it take us to get out of the Shire? How do you do? 
Okay, so, uh, oh, he ran up the hill. Look at that. I changed Here we go. My mind. Talk to Bingo outside his hobbit hole. Okay, off we go. We'll just take a shortcut over somebody's rooftop because that's just, you know, I'm, I'm just being rude. I admit it. I'm just being rude riding on somebody's rooftop. Hey, dude. Excuse me, pardon me. Gotta talk to this guy here. An adventure will be just okay the then. Thing. So this but is. I will need your Get help. some bingo badges. I need Yay. to train for the adventure <clears throat> if I'm to have success. Now I have to go to talk to the gaffer. Gotta go to Hobbiton again. And this time, go right down to Hobbiton and right up to the party tree. Oh, the party tree. Um, there's a shortcut to the party tree, isn't there? Can I get there from? From the stable master? <clears throat> Let's just see how that works. Party tree would be a good place to go if I can get there from here. Hello there! Can I get there from here? The party tree? Uh, I'm not seeing the party tree. Oh well, near enough to go there. <laughs> if I went to my house, into the stable master near my house, I could get right to the party tree. From the housing stable master. I can't remember if I own I must own a house on this server. Crispy must. Here we go. Crispy and crispy junior here. Right as little tiny chicken on a great big horse. Off we go. Oh people. We shall go talk to Gaffer Gamgee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Don't stop. <laughs> don't give me connection problems. That would not be good. That would not be good. Oh. No lag. No lag. I don't want lag right now. <clears throat> and I'm moving again. Yay. Okay, Gaffer. What up? Training for the Just journey. A I got fallen apples. I can do that. No, wait a second. Wait a second. No, nah, no. Nah. Really? Yes, picking up fallen apples is the training for the journey. Like, really? Apples? Really? Fine. I'll pick up the apples. So impatient. Patience is a virtue. Have it if you can. Seldom in a woman, but never in a man. Here we go. That ought to do it. To the gap where we go. So a lot of these quests, especially the early ones, they're pretty simple, they're pretty straightforward. Is there something I can do for you? Outside his hobbit hole. But back we go to Mickle Delving. There we go. So the video that I make from this might be helpful for people to see what it looks like when you get into like the instances, for instance. For instance, the instances. See how they work. Check out the mechanics, what kind of mobs are you dealing with. And of course they're all different levels. The level of these quests is very low, but I'm high enough level I can do all of these bingo quests because I will still be over level when I get to the very last one. Oh, here the we go. gaffer gave you some supplies. Uh, for How thoughtful. Uh, oh, right. Let's go across the way to the pub. Not very far. Just ride in there and guess get dismounted. Go talk to this chick. Esmeralda. Put the apples down. Okay. Click on the Bingo thing. Bolfin are going away 
present. Go back to what bingo. is going on? There's a lot of back and forth here. We're gonna do all our back and forth stuff. Preparing for this journey. So uh, Bingo wants to go have an adventure. Nothing to be done. If Esmeralda knows, the whole Shire will know. By the stock tower. Really, Bingo? Okay, off we go to get a ride to stock. We can do that. Training for the journey. So this this quest chain. Hello there. Didn't come out all at once. It came out one week at a time, many years ago. And every week there would be a new quest or series, well, series of things to do to complete the bingo quest for that week. Get your bingo badges, that's your currency. We are not going to stop and even look at what's available from the, the vendors until we're all finished all the quests. We're going to blow through all the quests and at the end of all the quests we should have a whole huge big pile of bingo badges which are the currency. And after we get all the badges, then we can think about what we want to spend them on. <clears throat> so, uh, that's maybe. Now, do I want to actually do the jumping puzzle to get up there? No, I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to. Just stand close <sighs> enough. There you this go. This was a bad idea. Okay, so if you're feeling ambitious, you can jump to get up onto that tower, but you don't have to. Now we need to go to the Golden Perch Inn. Uh, gallop into stock, go to the pub, have a drink. Let's just uh, find our way in here and talk to Bingo inside. Here he is. What's up, Bingo? What a way to build Finish up these arm muscles! Oh, I have to a slut. mug of ale to the my unprepared, lips. Unprepared, the prepared. I am prepared. I am so prepared to blow through all these there quests. There is nothing for it. I uh, must learn to talk swim. To the guy. I am as ready as I will ever be. And away we go. Here we go into our first instance. Bingo has decided to master one final skill for his journey. Yay. He will learn okay. to swim. <laughs> all right. Title awarded. I've got my the prepared title. Okay, this guy is so annoying. This is one of the more... You just... Okay. I need an emote for this. I really do. The emote that I need. The emote that I need. I hate to do this, Bingo, but seriously, dude. He had it coming. Like snap out of it, dude. Yeah, yeah. You may have a word. You can have more than a word. Okay, stay out of his way. He's running too fast for me to give him another slap to snap him out of it. Yeah, the neighbors are all rather alarmed at his behavior. <laughs> yeah, bingo. Clearly you're not ready. What's next? Yeah, of course you need me. Of course you do. Cheer on Bingo while he finds the perfect spot. Okay, can I cheer? <laughs> and now we, we begin to have the... The, the layers of Bingo's personality revealed. He's not the most adventurous hobbit, and yet he's out here trying to have an adventure. So I'll give credit where it's due. He, he tries. He does try. 
Oh, now I have to swim. Okay, now I have to show him how it's done. Fine. Fine. I have to swim to the other side of the river until it tells me I've gone far enough and I can swim back. Do I have to get all the way to the other side? Yep, did it. I put on a fine demonstration. Now I can go back. You don't have to make it all the way to the other shore. You can if you want to. You don't have to. Here we are. Click on Bingo and I'll go right there. Okay, talk to Bingo, but don't let him drip on me. Yeah, as if that's going to make a difference, I'm already soaked. Really, dude? You call that swimming? Honest to God. Okay. There we go. We're done. We did the thing. We did the thing. We're done the thing. We did the instance. Our first of the many Bingo instances. And now we can I talk to him. Fairly Pick well, a thing. But the let's buoyant. Avoid anyway. I'm buoyant. Let I could swim. To my hobbit hole in Mickle Delving. Back to Mickle Delving. Okay, we could do that. Click on this thing. And off we go. We're not going to... So, because I'm crispy here as a hunter... It'll make it easy for him to uh, travel around to do all the things. There we go. I must have joined the Bounders at some point because the Bounders are calling me by name. So here we go back again. <laughs> this guy is still standing there. What's up with that? Okay. Inside is hot at all. Okay. I guess I should get off my horse and not try and ride this great big horse into the hobbit hole. Come on, come on. Sometimes it's hard to get through the door. Here we are. Okay, I Bingo. hope you will pardon the mess. I, I have had so few ball visitors of twine. lately. Ball of twine. Find the ball of twine. Here it is. Return the twine to Poppy Grace Girl. Oh, come on. I'm in such a hurry. I'm just faster than the game. Hey, Poppy. There you go. Pick up the teapot now. So there's a number of things we have to pick up and return to the neighbors before Bingo can go on his great adventure. Uh, teapot? Where's the teapot? Is it here? Nope. Must be in the other room. Over here. There's the teapot. Merrimack. Merrimack gets the teapot. And where is he? He's right over here. Very close by. Don't have to go far for these early quests. Yay. Now, let's get a bucket. Which way is it? Is it this way? Uh, no. I keep making wrong turns here. It's this way. Here's the bucket. Got it. Oops. Darn it all. Gotta face the target. That's so annoying. Okay, return it to Myrtle Boggs. Go find Myrtle. Myrtle. Here she is. Hey, Myrtle. I wrote a petition to keep Bingo from going on this foolish adventure. Talk to the mayor. Really? Fine. Fine. Off we go. Jump. That's easy enough. Oh, good day. Continue. Uh, go to Bingo. You look at this. What Pick neighbors I have. Okay. They want to make a petition so he doesn't go. So now I have to go pick flowers. Just to be nice to the neighbors. There we go. Here's the flowers. They're easy to find. Loads of them. And you don't need them all, you just need one. And, oh, I'm, I can't ride back, I gotta run back carrying, carrying my flowers. Look at that, I'm carrying the flowers, that's so cute. Such a 
cute little chicken. Can I jump up here? Here we go. There's Myrtle. She gets the flowers. Now I talk to her. Oh, what? What is this? I will write another petition. Oh, she's so whiny, isn't she? Like chill, lady. Off we go. Talk to the talk to the hobbit again. There he is. Trip over the furniture. The journey is so close Choose now. Choose one. Happy to help. Of course, I'm happy to help. The day has finally Travel arrived. Off we go to Waymeet. Off we go to Waymeet. We can do that. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go out. Okay. Saddle up. Now we can ride. Way meet, or we could we could go to um, if you want to get someplace, you can you can ride there, or you could go to the stable master and take the slow pony to Hobbiton, and from the slow pony to Hobbiton, you could ride as far as Waymeet and then dismount. That's a thing you can do. But it's not far to get to Waymeet, so I'm just going to gallop there myself. I do have journeyman riding, which helps. Maybe I should have put that title on to my tune. But I have a pretty good title already. And in fact, uh, where's my where's my title? Dun, 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 dun. Where's my happy to help title? Happy to help. Make it active. Because why not? Okay, there we go. Hey, Fingal. I think I forgot something. Seriously, dude, you forgot something. Now we gotta go all the way back. Mickle Delving to get his walking stick. We are entering the, the series of the bingo quests that are probably most, um, shall we say, complained about. Some of the less popular ones, the ones, but I mean, that's, that's part of his charm is how annoying he is for getting all his things and you have to go back and get them. But that's just bingo. It just, it wouldn't be bingo if he wasn't an... A scatter brain that uh, makes us go back and get all the things that he forgets. And yes, that's your clue. It won't be the first time we're doing this. So, uh, by water. Now we want to go to back to Stable Master, ride to Hobbiton, and then scoot over to Bywater. Easy enough to do. We might just be visiting the green dragon. That's in high water, isn't it? I seem to A like to stop day, for isn't it? beverage. Here we go. So I'll have to go through all these quests and timestamp them. Meanwhile, I ought to pop open the, uh, the Twitch stream on my other computer so I can see if anybody is in the chat saying hi. If you are, I apologize for being late to pop on and notice if anyone's there, but it's one of those things. I'm not used to having a large audience. I'm always surprised when people join me in Crispy's adventures. It's always fun though. Let's uh, head over here and see what uh, thing goes up to. Is he here? Where is he? The inside? Where is he? No, no, no. Looks like he's uh, maybe inside. So let's go there. Okay. Where is he? Here he is. Found him. Ah, there you are, my traveling companion. The frogmores. The frogmores are next. A nearby swamp. 
Okay. Oh, I have I have like a viewer. Yay. Welcome. So today's fairly chill adventure. Relaxing. It's not a chicken run. Except that Crispy identifies as a chicken, so uh, yeah, he's running a lot to try and get these quests done for Bingo. That's his situation today. Okay, so we need to follow the quest tracker. There he is. We found him. He's not in the pub this time. He's over here. I think we evaded the nosy hobbits, but my Wild. choice of detour is not ideal. Wild hill toads. Okay, hang on a second. Let me get my... Uh, Combat skills ready. Where are the toads? Okay, so <laughs> they're so... Okay, they'll be... They're hard to spot because all the mobs are gray. Is there another toad here somewhere? That did it! <laughs> nice being way over. You are over. not going to believe this, but Wait. I have forgotten something else. Of course you did. Of course you forgot something else. We would, we wouldn't. It just wouldn't be bingo if you remembered things. So he's had another senior moment, and uh, we're on our way back now to Michael Delving again. Okay, saddle up, and away we go. Find his satchel. Bit of a theme here. Here we go. All right then. Where's this bag? <laughs> I get stuck in the door. Okay, let's dismount. Maybe, maybe I can fit through the door if I'm not on a horse. That worked better. Here's the other satchel. Fine. Now we have to bring it to him in Budgeford. Okay, I know how to do this one. We're going to take the slow pony to stock. And we're going to dismount when we get to the that little um, road to Butchford. That's what we're going to do. So a little bit of travel will make it as efficient as possible. I think when, when you take the stable mount, and I think it's maybe even faster than journeyman riding. How do you do? So, stock. Oh, man. Okay, that... Oh... Swift. No, no, no. Okay, it's, it doesn't work that way. I can't take it that way. Okay, I can take it to Hobbiton Swift. From Hobbiton, I might be able to take a slow pony to stock. I think it might work from there. So Swift travel to Hobbiton, that's just as well anyway. That speeds things up. So it's all about the efficient travel here. We want slow pony to stop. Can we get a slow pony to stop? How do you do? Here? I'm fine. There it is. That's the pony we want. And now we have to watch the map and see when we get right about here. That's where we're going to dismount. Nope, not there. Sorry. Here. That's our destination. Yep. So we were in Frogmorton. Now we're headed for Butchford. So we can watch our travel. See when we get there. Enjoy the lovely scenery in the Shire as we pass the cotton farm. Bywater. Coming over the hill towards Frogmorton here. And I can pop over to see. We are on a quest called Leaving is Not Easy, which is number five. So the fifth of these. And we're about a half an hour in. 
6.05 for half an hour, so 10 in an hour, so about 6 minutes each of these quests. That's not bad. And there's a total of 50 of them. So it looks like it would take uh, all things being equal. Wait a second, wait a second. Did I just blow past where I'm going? Yes, I did. Here I am trying to do math in my head. <laughs> Clearly, as I've mentioned before, I do suck at multitasking. Just so you know. Uh, off I go to find find the hobbit. Where's the hobbit? Come here, dude. So pretty here. Here he is. There you are, and you retrieve the saddle I left behind. Yeah. Our journey continues, my adventurous friend. Brandywine Bridge now. Fine. Off we go. So if if you can do five in half an hour and there's 50, that would be like 10 half hours to get through the whole thing and that means about five hours worth of uh adventuring so if i get through two and a half hours on this particular stream and make a part one and a part two then maybe maybe we could do it in two videos part one and part two we'll see of course, it may be that the early quests are quicker to do and some of the other ones take longer. I think that may be the case. I seem to remember when I did this on my main that some of these... Wait a second, where am I going? Oh, Brandywine Bridge, yes. Uh, yeah. Some of these quests are quick and easy. Some of them might be taking kind of longer. Here we are. Let us cross the bridge and visit my cousin Priska. Yes, let us. Let us do that. Here we are. Wait a second. Right here. This is the place. It's been so long since cousin Bingo came to visit. Okay, find all these find all these uh, boffins. Okay. I think there's a boffin up on the roof here. If you've done chicken runs before, you know about the cow on the roof. Here we go. There's one of them we found. Let's go find another one. And we'll basically just follow the quest arrow and look for the quest ring on the mini-map. There he is, snoozing away. Let a fellow sleep Got him. if you have any decency. And where's this guy? Uh, right here. Yes. There we Can go. Can I help you with something? Camellia. Do you know that? You see before you a defeated hobbit, stranger. And off we go. We find. This one, Esmeralda, the dancer. She loves to dance, this little hobbit. Dancing is something you can do anywhere. Of course I'm you sure. can. Of course you can. Now, can I jump a fence going uphill? Yes, I, yes I can, yay. Now we're gonna find the guy that's sleeping. Another guy having a nap. Where is he? Where's the guy? Here's the guy. Sleeping in a cart. There he is. <laughs> oh, that was a rude noise. <laughs> and down we go here. Griffo. The food at this fair is delicious and abundant. Okay, off we go to Priska's house in Newbury. I'm going to have to run over the cow. Here we are. How does Priska keep track of all these children? Five more bingo badges. I am really Yay. sorry about this, but I think we forgot one. 
Marigold. Marigold has been going further and further into the old forest. Recently. Oh dear. Now we have to go find Marigold, but first we have to defeat Roots. Defeat bats, defeat wolves. But first we have to get into the old forest. We have to follow along this hedge here until we get to the passage that goes under the big hedge. Now, if we go over here, we can find bats. Bloom wings. Isn't there a flower over here? There's a flower over here somewhere. Is it? Did I get that already? I think I did. Yeah, I'll grab a cocoon since I'm in the neighborhood. Now we need roots and wolves. Let's head over this way. Roots and wolves. If we go over this way, we'll find the road. Here's Bonfire Glade. There's a wolf. Pretty sure we will find roots over here by this pile of firewood. Got more roots here. Where's more roots? Hmm. And everything's gray, so it's hard to find things. Is that a root? Found one. Gotcha. Now we need one more root and some more. One more root. One more root. Where's one more root? Maybe I should, uh... Oh, there it is. Found one. Yay. Search along the banks of the Whippy Windom. For miracles. So we go down here. Here's old Muddy Foot Hill. We'll just detour around that. Head down, down behind where that hobbit is down below. I'm not going to stop to do mining. Okay, so here's this brandy buck. Let's go across the river here and then across this way. Somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. Behind the silver deposit. Bingo, we found them. <laughs> this spooky forest makes me nervous. There's Bingo. Cousin Bingo is an adventurer too? I'm I so happy to hear it. The house of the strange creature with yellow boots. Oh my. Now, shall we just swim up the river. I suppose we could do that. I suppose that could work. I don't think it's that far and I don't think there's some big waterfall between there and here. We should be able to uh, follow the river. Hang on. This is the river. Follow the river bank. And go this way and see what happens. We'll get to where that other hobbit is, Lolo. And then we'll keep going until we get to that nasty willow tree. Swim, swim, swim. I see the nasty willow tree over there. It's mean. And it's not far beyond that. We could go up around. Saddle up once we get out of the water. And we'll just skirt our way around Old Man Willow. We made it! The house of the strange creature. Well, that's kind of rude, calling Tom Bombadil a creature. <coughs> He's not quite a man, though, is he? Not quite. Have you ever seen such a cozy little cottage? What a strange sight. A tidy little cottage in a dangerous wood. Talk to Tom. Hey, I Tom. Need a dude, come here. Come here. Want a word with you? 
We have a word. Uh, oh, there he is. Dude, stop. Tom bomb, jolly Tom. Tom <laughs> bomb, okay. Yes, yes, he can sing. He does sing. Now we have to go stand in the foam of the waterfall south of Tom's house. Let's do that. Here we are. We'll just jump right in there. Jump! Stand in the cold water. Okay. Now I'm soggy and I'm going to talk to Tom again. Ignore the creepy music. And off we go. Here we are. Hello, Tom. Uh, find old... Yeah, we know where old man Willow is. Been there, seen that. Now, I guess the quickest way is just go right down the path and uh, kind of <laughs> break our ankles and then swim over here. There he is. There's old man Willow. Do we have to dance? We have to dance. Uh, okay. Now we have to go back. <laughs> Okay, I danced, I got poisoned, and now I'm swimming back. We did the thing. Okay, got to saddle up here. Okay. Here we are, Tom Bombadil. Hey, Tom Derrigo, can you hear me singing? <laughs> yes, I can hear Tom you singing. Tom is a mystery. Asking him questions is met with laughter and nonsense. Okay, Tom. Take this. Now let the fun <laughs> begin. Let us sing together. <laughs> Read the book already, Tom. Seriously. Where's Goldberry? <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, I'm not seeing Goldberry. Why is she not here? <gasps> Don't tell me I have to go all the way to the spring. Maybe I need to just go back there, cause... Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I just went too fast. Maybe if I give it a minute and go back around the corner where she normally hangs out, maybe she will magically appear. Hey Goldberry, are you here? <gasps> Usually she's right around here. But since she's not, apparently, and maybe it's just random luck, I have to go find Goldberry Spring now. So I suppose it's just as well. I can show you how to get there from here. We will go up this path and uh, follow this little path and see where it goes. I might just go all the way there. Okay, so. But if I look, well, I, I do have a quest arrow. Uh, it looks like there's a wall of trees there, so I'm not sure if I can go right through or if I have to go around. I think I have to go around the white corner. It's sort of along to the side here. Oh, look, it's the path. The path is good. That should get us where we need to go. Let's see if we can find Goldberry. There's the spring. We did it. We found the spring. Yay. Here's Goldberry. We'll have a chat. Did you welcome and now, in the world? now we have to go back to Tom Bombadil's house, which is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Which way is it? It's this way, I think. Oh, it's so confusing. Where am I going? Am I on the map? No, that, that cannot be the way. That cannot be the way. No, go back the other way. The road swings around to the right here. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. There's a stock of rhubarb. I'm pretty sure we came past that stock of rhubarb when we were looking for goldberry. So, uh, yeah. Now the quest arrow is in the right spot compared to where we are. 
I hate the way the road just disappears in this part of the forest. Well, there's various parts of the forest where the road just disappears. It's always annoying when that happens. It would be so much easier if the road just stayed where you could see it and didn't disappear into the shrubbery. But we made it. We did it. We didn't we didn't get hopelessly lost and end up wandering in circles. So, yay. Yes. That seems Finish a fair now. assessment of our peculiar Talk host. To Tom Thank you. Again. Yes, Please we can do that. Tom okay, Tom. Tom. Hold still. Hold still. Tom, Don't go skipping Tom, off. Tom, 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 Tom. Back and forth. Back and forth. You lost the manuscript. Tom Seriously, Tom? My manuscript. Yeah. No bother. And for those of you wondering, this is why. This is why they didn't give the guy the ring. Okay. We have to find the manuscript. Where could it be? It could be on the road somewhere. Maybe? Oh, look. It's a windblown page. Yeah. Search north. Okay, we can do that. I can get my leafy feet going so I can do this quicker. Yay. There's another windblown page. Alrighty then. Galloping along until we find Talk to Bingo. Wait a second, what am I doing? Okay, pay attention, Heather. Pay attention. Talk to Bingo outside the house. Tom Bombadil. Talk to Marigold outside the house of Tom Bombadil. Here we go. Shall race through these quests as quick as we can. The wind must have carried the rest of the pages into the Barrow Downs. The Barrow Downs. Oh, here we go. Now we got some things to do. Defeat bar guests. Crawlers. Find pages. Okay. So there's specific sections of the manuscript that we are meant to find. Concerning Bingo's swimming lesson and concerning Bingo's departure from the Shire. So away we go. So, you may have noticed that Bingo uh, is a ridiculously high level compared to what he normally is on Gladden server, because we're not on Gladden server right now. We're on a different one. Which makes it handy to be able to do some of these quests that uh, a higher level is helpful for. Oh. Another bar guess. Okay, so if I look at my map, Oh my goodness, so, so there's something right over there, there's something over that way. This way, there's a windblown page. I guess I have to uh, slay some critters. So it's crawlers and bar guests I need to slay. And find the other page. Somewhere over this way. I don't need to slay the whites today. It's kind of hard to find them when they're all grayed out. But we will. We will find the critters that we need to slay here. There we go. Okay, we've got all our crawlers. Now I need a few more bar guests. And we need to find... find that last page. Where is it? All right, right ahead of us. By the time we get to where that page is, we will probably have slayed sufficient bar guests. There should be one in our path at some point. There's one. That's the critter we need. Right there. 
Okay then, so now... How far away are we? <laughs> We've gone right past the page we needed to find. Let's go back. There it is. The windblown page. There it is. And now, for my next trip, I will bring us to where we need to go. Where do we need to go? Taka Bingo, outside the home of Prisca Boffin in Newbury. Really? Okay, so now we need to go back to... Um, we basically have to get to Buckland. If we go to Mickle Delving, I think there's swift travel to Buckland from Mickle Delving, so let's uh, try it that way. So as I said, we will timestamp all these bingo boffin quests. So if somebody has any questions about how to do them, they will have a resource Good that they day. can look it up. Uh, wait a second. Buckland, Buckland. Right there. That's where we're going. As soon as I get there, I'm going to dismount. So don't need to go all the way to the stable. Saddle up and ride back. Christmas house. Come across here, shortcut. There we go. Okay, we did it. Yeah. I learned a lesson. Do not let folk read my book until it is done. I will need to come up with something exciting to top this adventure. We boffins have been many things, but heroes? I don't know about that. Prisca will calm down in time. She always does. My feet are ready to once again set forth on the road. Now I'm a page hunter. I found the pages. I hunted the pages. There we go. Now. Now we gotta go find Bingo here. There he is. That was easy. This Milo fellow seems to be perfectly friendly. Okay, Milo. What's Bingo up? Bingo should experience the finest tavern in all of the Breland. Of course he should. Let's go to the Prancing Pony. we go. I guess I should dismount before I try and go in. It would be rude otherwise, I'm pretty sure. Okay, here he is. Okay, the two taverns. Talk to Bingo. <laughs> this one. Okay, okay, dude. What's up? Hey, Bingo. Have some food and have some drink and sing a song or three. Oh my goodness, I have to sing, eat, drink, and be merry. I guess that's the name of the game. Okay. <laughs> we are making rather rude noises while we eat. Here I am singing. Allegedly singing. <laughs> okay. More right. food, more drink, and more song. Seriously, I'm stuffed. I, I can't. I just, I can't. But I will. I will eat more food. And... Eating slowly. I guess my tummy's getting full. A hobbit with a tummy getting full? It just seems implausible. It just doesn't seem likely. Okay, so now I have to sing some more. Here we go. Talk to the guy again. Hey, Bingo. Can you be sure that Barlamin has paid for our food and drink? Yes, yes, I can do that. My pleasure, Bingo. 
Your money, my pleasure. Off we go. Uh, continue quest. Talk to Milo in the Prancing Pony. Okay, so what's up with Milo over here? There he is. Milo. <laughs> no, there you some. are. Bingo okay. was asking around for you. Climb on the table and dance. Oh my goodness. So we're like those 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 hobbits in Rohan singing about like I guess it would be rude to sing about the the green dragon in here. The only brew for the brave and true comes from the green dragon. Right? Okay, so we climbed on the table. We're dancing. Are we not dancing? Do we have to highlight him? What do we have to do? I climbed on the table. Maybe I have to climb down on the table down this end. That's a dance thing. Do I have to do a different dance? I have other dances I can do. Okay, this is just weird. Why, why is it not working? Climb on the table and dance. So this is why we, we do the video. I try and figure it out so you don't have to. There we go. Maybe it's this end of the table. Okay, this is just so weird. Okay, I'm on the table. Do I have to... Is it... It's not telling me I'm in the right place on the table. And sometimes it, it does. There it is. There it is. I, so, okay, so let's pay attention to where I was standing. I was right in front of Milo Goodbody. That's that's where I have to stand to make this work. So now I have to uh, go back and talk to the guy again. Now we know. Talk to Milo again. Very well. Okay. So Milo, what's up? And... Uh, Where's Bingo? What did you do with my hobbit? Bingo said he was feeling poorly and went outside to get some air. I see you lost my hobbit. Can't trust Milo with anything, apparently. Off we go. Let's find poor Bingo. <laughs> Dawn has come. Where might he be? We've gone around the other way around this building. That's the milestone. Here we are. Uh, right about here. There he is. I do not feel very well. Travel this may to the... have been a poor idea. <laughs> the Forsaken Inn. Okay. Let's do this. Have I unlocked sufficient stable masters? Yes, I believe I have. Yep. I have unlocked stable masters. So let's go here. We'll get a ride to Southbury. And from there, what do you need? That's free. Swift travel. And from there, we can head to the Lone Lands. What do you need? We need to go to... Where is it? Where is it? Um, Forsaken Inn. It's going to take a while. That's okay. What time of day is it? It's dusk. The sun is going down. Okay, so we're doing well. Well, while Crispy is riding, I can check in and see how far into our adventure we have come. The name of this is the Two Taverns. So we are at uh, number 10. The 10th of our 52 quests. So there's like a one a week for a year is how they roll these quests at. It looks like we've got like 
roughly five hours worth of questing. And maybe I should do one hour at a time for these videos. Because when we make the videos longer, they take forever to upload. So we'll probably just, once we finish the two taverns, we'll call it a night. Say thank you very much. And uh, come back again another day to do another hour's worth of questing and see how far we get. Maybe it'll be five one-hour videos. Maybe it'll be more. And the next quest we do, those will be interesting. I think I'll save those for another day. I'll start out with the next series of quests on the part two video. Or should I do it now? Should I just keep going just a little bit more? Just a little bit more? Because it's kind of a, it's the kind of thing someone might need to uh, actually look up to figure out how to get to the thing. Yeah, I think I will do the next the next week's worth of questing here. So if some of the videos go a little over an hour, it's fine. Let's see what we can do. Because it, it's getting a little more interesting once we get into the Forsaken Inn. We, we meet some new characters in our adventure here. Okay, well I can dismount now. Run inside the inn. Here we go. Let me in. <laughs> okay, here I am. And here's Bingo. Okay, Bingo. I cannot imagine a more different Finish common now. room than the ponies. This Talk is a still and silent crowd. Okay, so we get Theodore. Except for those two, it's always a pleasure to speak with admirers. <sighs> Theodore yeah. claims to be a master treasure seeker, <laughs> loudly and often. I have had a great idea. Theodore could train me to become a treasure seeker. Okay, okay. We've picked up the quest. The sun is going down. It looks lovely. Let's read. The torrent flows, blanketed in the shadow of only morning. The sentinel stares from on high, only he still watches. The red squirrel once dared to climb, but time fells all. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to get right to it, because uh, I've been here before. So we are going to find a hidden strong box. And I am just going to double check and make sure on the wiki, because I seem to recall another thing. Um, okay, so the strong box, yes, I just wanted to confirm that the place I think it is, is the place it really is, so that I don't waste our time going in circles, getting lost. get up there onto the slope of weather top not all the way to the top I'm hoping I can get there from this side maybe maybe this will work
Okay, I've made my way up. Am I going the right way here to get to where that big stone pillar is sticking out? Yes, this, this is the place. This is the place. Okay, now look right there. Look right there. You see that little glowy thing? That's where we gotta get to. And the way to get there is very carefully across this log. And there it is. Bingo. Bingo found it. Okay, so now we have to go back to the Forsaken Inn. You know what I should have done? What I should have done? I should have done my, um... I should have put... <laughs> I should have put a milestone there. Oh, well. I'll just fall down the mountain here. And I suppose we can ride back. It's not that far. It's not. We can do this. If I'd put a milestone there, that might have been good. What if we go to a quest, uh, what do you call it, a res circle? If I fall off the mountain and die? <laughs> Crutch. Yeah, I could just take the shortcut down the mountain. I can do that. Of course, I'm not riding at full speed anymore because I crunched my ankles. That's okay. We'll get where we need to go. I rewarded. I'm just blowing past all these mobs. Of course, if you're doing these on level one, one every week or more or less, as you level, the mobs will be a little bit more challenging. But on a speed run, I just want to blow past them all. Now, is it just me or is it really loud? I'm thinking I could do with a little less loud. A little better. Now I can hear myself think. Yay. And back we go to talk to the guy. The riddle and found the treasure. Well, I don't believe it. That's a pretty snazzy hat, don't you think? I think you gave Theodore the best Finish treasure now. of all. A reason to keep going. I have been trying to help Theodore unravel this latest cryptic message. Talk to the guy. Geese, talk to the goblin chick. spiders. Is this a bingo. just nonsense? There is something unusual about that message. Maybe you can figure it out. He hands me the cryptic message. Okay. So if we look at the cryptic message. T. H. E. L. O. R. N. S. P. A. N. The Lorne Span. That is how you interpret Spoiler alert. If you didn't want spoilers, you wouldn't be watching this video. I suppose I should put a disclaimer in the um in the video description when I when I post it on YouTube. In the, the further adventures of crispy chicken section. Okay, so now we get to go find this place. along the road for a little ways.
Okay, now, here's the way that goes up to where those uh, NPCs are. At this end of the ruins where the goblins hang out. Here's a little span, but it's not the span we're looking for. We need to go right past all these guys. And follow this little path. Try not to fall off the edge of the hill. Not too bad along here. You're paying attention to where you're going. Look, there's a span. That's the lawn span. This is the span you're looking for. There we go. And now we know there's the strong box that we're looking for. Empty safer parchment. And back we go. To Theodore. If I was smart, and clearly I am not, <laughs> I would have grabbed a milestone at the Forsaken Inn. Oh well. Not far at least. Won't take us long to get back there. What if we were to take a shortcut off the mountain? Would that help? <laughs> Would that help? Wee! Is it a power slide or a crunch? Uh, it's kind of a crunch. Didn't die. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get back where we're going. Ignore the stealth critters. And the scrub runners. This way, so this distance between two points is a straight line, so let's see if we can do that without, you know, falling off a cliff or anything. We'll have to go up the road, I think. That embankment on the other side of the dry riverbed looks a tad steep. That's okay. We can get up right here. Hey, Theodore. Talk to Theodore. One more time. Although, I'm pretty sure it won't be the last time we talk to this guy. Here we are. You solved the message? Oh, let me see that treasure. That's it? Finish. The end now? I will keep looking for clues, and you should see if Unloff needs help with anything. Unloff, what do you need? I'm sorry. Did he need something? Pick up things and carry them around. Fine, dude. We can do that. Pick up the things. And I believe they are right around here. Yes, they are. There's a box of goods. Carrying the box. Hobbit will carry this down the stairs into the basement. Where do we drop it? Is this a place? Yes, that's the place. And <laughs> up we go. Run away from the scary noises. We can do that. And uh, now we have to pick up a basket of eggs. and away we go. See how fast we can do this. Get her done. Is this the place? This is the place. Talk to Anna. Hey dude. Can't you leave me to my misery? Yes I can. Happy to. Hmm, I wonder. 
all the parchment out to the fire. As it warms in the heat of the fire, letters appear. I knew there it! Go. Invisible letters! Okay then. And where are we going next? E H E E N D N O W, the end now. Okay, so what we're going to do. We want to go to the other end of the Lone Lands. We'll be heading for Ostgaruth. So let's go there. Greetings. There it is. me a while to finish off this quest series and get through all of them because well now maybe I'll finish off the quest series first before I get into my next adventure with Crispy which will probably be the spring festival which I believe starts like tomorrow so it's all good did a series of videos, all the Yule things, where Crispy did all the quests for the Yule Festival. I think what I'm going to do is have him do a series of videos with all the, all the festival things. And, um, and then a separate one, because there's some of the festival things that are unique to each festival. So for the Spring Festival, I'll do all the Spring Festival things. And then I'll do a separate video at some point doing the ones that show up in every single festival, which means the dancing quests and the horse races and the ale association and the in league quests. So those you can do. Um, those you can do at any festival. It doesn't, there's no particular festival. Every single festival, you get the opportunity to work on those ale association and in league quests. So, at some point, I'll do those too. I want to have uh, some videos of all the things that Crispy can do for festivals. Ostgaruth, and I think that once we get there and finish the end now, the end now is uh, probably a good place to end this video. So we will get that finished and pack it in for the night and pick up in the same place the next time we come back to this tune. Riding through the shrubberies. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. Okay then. Here we are. Yeah. Leave Fred. We have we have other things to do. More important things to do than talk to Fred right now. Oh look, here we are. There's Bingo. You figured it out. I Continue. knew you would. Listen, the true Continue. master treasure seekers coming out. Here we you go. Found me. I have to admit, I am impressed. 
I will learn from Haley if she'll have me as a student. Okay, Our treasure then. hunt is at an end, and I am satisfied with its conclusion. Our own journey must continue. All right then. So thank you for joining me for this adventure. This V is grateful for your support, liking and sharing and all that stuff. So I'll say good night to everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time as our adventure continues. So, bye for now.